Uh, is it on? Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm back with another video. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If this is your returning time, returning time. If you're returning to my channel, welcome. Um, as you can see, it feels and probably looks a little bit more intimate. I'm in my room. Something happened to my camera, so I'm trying to see what I can do to get that fixed. And in the meantime, I'm just going to do it on my phone because it works just as perfect as my camera. And as you can see from the title, it is a video pretty much about some glow up tips. So I saw a post on social media that really just hit me like, okay, I can see it. I see it. I agree. Can I zoom in? Let's see if we can zoom in. Did we zoom in? Did it zoom in? No, it didn't zoom in. Anyways, um, so it was a post uh, pretty much about some glow up tips and I was like, I have a few strategies and tips for you guys that, you know, I can pass on to you guys and it could probably be like a weekly or monthly thing where I just come and update and give you guys tips and hints and tricks and advice on how glowing up is more than just looks. It is definitely more than just looks. It is definitely more than just looks and I'm gonna say it one more time it's definitely more than just looks of course we all like to glow with our skin and everything and all that stuff but you have to glow with it too you want it you want it to be very very special and grow into a butterfly no matter what you're doing so I wrote down some tips on here and some things that I'm going to share with you guys um so I put glow up is obviously not just about looks it's so much more than just looks and i think that it's really important that i stress that because people feel as if oh so i don't look the way i look and i don't dress the way i look anymore so i glue up what well, glue up is a word or i glowed up or whatever and it's like aren't you supposed to like aren't you i won't no okay i won't say aren't you supposed to however it's some things that over time should happen you should, probably shouldn't be wearing the same thing you wore 20 years ago. My grandmother is definitely not wearing the same clothing she wore 20, 30, 40 years ago because, you know, that was a process in life, you know. I guess it's like an older glow up because she's almost about to be 78. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, she's definitely glowed up in a sense of becoming a girl to a woman, to a mother, to now a minister of faith and just an amazing strong will woman but that's the process that i'm talking about you have to grow within not just externally internally it, it, there's a process there as well so don't forget about that process you know it's a, it's all about being more conscious of like how you're affecting others and potentially affecting yourself and how you may be affecting others because people don't understand that sometimes people look at you and sometimes people you inspire people and that can cause an impact on their life if it's something that isn't being done out the right way if that makes sense bettering yourself physically emotionally mentally financially just just being well grounded and knowing that we're human I, I, I out of all things that I know about myself is that I'm human and I make mistakes and I make a lot of mistakes and sometimes I want to make those mistakes just so that way I can go back and say hey you know what I'm not doing that again that is all a part of the global process because it's not just about look once again so it's about loving yourself and treating yourself well and just knowing you have higher standards at time for certain things. Like I know for sure, like it's certain things that I did when I was younger that I'm not gonna do anymore. Sometimes I fall into a trap and be like, oh crap, I feel like I'm getting close to doing something that I shouldn't be doing or I definitely know that it's gonna not be advantageous to me in the end. So let me just retreat. Let me reel my fishing rod back in and throw it in another lake and catch another fish because that was not the fish for me. Being comfortable in your skin, knowing that Again, we're not perfect and things happen and maybe there's some things we don't like about ourselves, but you know, you got to work on those things. That's just something that develops and takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. For some people it does, for some people it doesn't. There's things about myself that I don't necessarily feel like I want everyone to know or I'm extremely comfortable with, but it's just things that I know I have to tackle. And with tackling it, it, it's a glow up process. It's a process from A to Z that is, I gotta go through all those letters and all these numbers and all these feelings, emotions, and thoughts and ideas to feel like, you know what, I think I've arrived to where I'm comfortable with this because it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. So I'ma just go with some normal, 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 simple, 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 simple glow up tips and processes. I'ma come a little closer. 
I would say get more organized. I started to do a to-do list. I started to have a calendar on my wall of dates and events that I knew for sure that I didn't want to miss or I had deadlines or things that I needed to meet by a certain time. So just, just getting more organized will definitely help you in the long run because you'll know when things are coming up. You won't forget things, you won't miss things. Missing people's birthdays is not a good feeling. Missing people's weddings and events and stuff like that. Art shows, music events, performances. No one wants someone who isn't supporting them. But you shouldn't have to beg for support, but if you don't write stuff down, if you don't make a note of it, if you don't keep it organized, you'll forget all about it and then it'll almost make, make someone feel as if you don't appreciate them when it really was just you just being irresponsible and not being as organized as you said. So that's one of my biggest, biggest, biggest things and glow up tips that I can give you guys besides glowing up isn't only about looks. <laughs> so make sure you just get a little more organized and with that being said, we're going to go right into the next one. Get more sleep. Um, I personally don't get enough sleep, but that's just how I function. I've always been like that since I was a young, 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 young tadpole in the pond. I just never got enough sleep, and it's it's actually catching up with me, because sometimes I find myself extremely tired and extremely drained, and then once you're tired, your face looks tired, and that's one thing that I just can't have. Like I just don't want to be looking sleepy or yawning so much at work or out and about yawning around your friends and stuff. It just makes it feel like you just don't want to be there. Get some sleep. It, sleep is the best way to rejuvenate your body, get your vitals back going, relaxes your skin. Your body needs it. It is definitely something that is a necessity, and... I know they say six to eight hours of sleep. Hey, get as much as you can. Cause sometimes we can, I'm sure Beyonce loses some hours of sleep and she, she doing all right. So with that being said, on to the next. Sure. Explore more, travel the world, go places. Who cares if you live in Florida and you only could go to Georgia every now and then? Go, if you can go to Texas and New Orleans, go. Travel. I love seeing my friends travel. I love seeing people put stamps on their passport. I love seeing the pictures that my friends take. I think it's extremely motivating and inspiring that at one point we couldn't travel. At one point we couldn't read. At one point we didn't have the access or maybe even the financial support or stability to to branch out and go different places, but go different places, culture yourself, eat different foods, meet different people, make friends in certain areas. Social media is a great tool for that. You meet someone in Texas, now you got somewhere to stay in Texas. Now you got somebody to show you around in Texas. Now you can go to Texas every time you want to go. Maybe you and that friend from Texas can go to another state, and then y'all can have a travel group, and then y'all can just travel all over the world and explore more. I'm going to leave it at that. But with exploring, you have to have patience. Having patience is a extremely, extremely great glow up tip I have for you guys because everything doesn't come overnight and it takes time, it takes guts, it takes tenacity, it takes money sometimes and it definitely takes patience to just be where you want to be in life because sometimes you just don't know where you're going to go. Um, some, I, I didn't know that I would end up here, I didn't know that these lights would end up on my wall. It's a lot that I didn't know but with patience everything you know, pretty much comes in place and it's all written already and all you have to do is do your part. Read more. If you read more, you know more and it's pretty much simple. Reading is definitely fundamental. That's not something I can really explain and go on and go on and go on because it's something that you have to do yourself. I personally like to read for a grade. If I ain't reading for a grade, then I ain't reading. Unless it's something extremely, extremely interesting or something about Beyonce or Adele or somebody like that or music or like something that I really am interested in. But sometimes you have to like really force yourself because I'm forcing myself to read stuff that I don't typically read. But um, I see that it's working for me. I see that I'm learning things because... I don't know, I don't know how the quote go, but they say if you don't want a black person to find something, put it in a book because sometimes we won't read. I've been reading, I've been finding out things, I've been finding the clues and the hints and tips to everything, and this is a part of the glow up process, so if you want to glow up, you need to read. Read between the lines or do something. Read, read a, a short novel or a sex story or something that's interesting to you. It doesn't have to be something that's everyone else is reading. Just because everybody else is reading 13 Reasons Why I don't mean that you have to do it. I read Harry Potter because that was interesting to me. And I also wasn't supposed to be reading it because my grandma didn't know that I was reading about warlocks and demons and, and dragons and wands and magic and stuff. So don't tell her because she's going to beat me up. But that was, was interesting to me. That's what I like. That's what 
captivated me to want to read more. And when I found out that everything wasn't like that in life, it kind of disappointed me. So I just only read for a grade. However, you just have to break through and just go read. Just read. Get more exercise. And I say that because as young people, I don't mean to be offensive. However, um, I'm seeing a lot of young people my age develop diabetes and obese. And it's just like, yeah, I know we have all tough work schedules and sometimes we have personal health issues and things that we may not want to disclose with people. However, as much as you could, you need to exercise and eat the right way. Um, just because I hate to see people my age and I hate to see people family members gone too early because of exercise. If you could walk 30 minutes a day, which I know you can because you can do it in the house, you can walk to a mall, you can walk to a concert, you can walk to, to, to do something that you probably shouldn't be doing, you can walk. It's not that hard. I just hate seeing, again, I hate seeing, I lost so many people. I lost like two or three friends this year already. Well, the year just started, so last year. Um just from being unhealthy. Drink more water. That's definitely a glow up tip for your skin and for internally. Drink more water. Drink more water, exercise, eat the right way. I wanna say clean more as well. When I say clean, I don't only mean like clean your home. Clean up things that you know is gonna get you far in life. Clean up your car, clean up your room, clean up your office, clean up your desk. Have just like a clear view of some of the things you wanna achieve. And oh, that was good! Clean up things in your life. Just just clean. Your room, your car, your boat, your shoes. Just just do it. I'm itching because that was so good. I just, they need to stamp my name right there. Clean more. <laughs> Ask more. Um, I'm personally one who, this is extremely hard for me to relax more because I, I always stress about stuff that that's coming, like bills and... Um, work and I'm meeting different goals and it ain't right. It is really not. It's so it's so pressuring and everything we do nowadays, it's just like so much pressure on us. And I honestly have a lot of pressure on myself because I do mostly everything by myself. I pay my rent by myself. I pay my car by myself and my phone bill and my food. And it's just everything I do pretty much, I do myself. Um, sometimes I have help, but outside of that help, the help can always stop. And when it stops, it, it just, it's it's a scary, scary moment because you know everything is on you. If there is anyone out there who does everything on their own, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you, you have family, but I take care of my grandma. So it's just like, at the end of the day, I don't really have anyone to help me. So I stress out a lot and I realize, I have really super, crazy anxiety to the point that sometimes I start shaking. Um, even coming to YouTube sometimes, this is therapeutic to me, which is why I'm always here. Um, but I also am a human, so I take breaks because that's also therapeutic to me to just black out from everything and just be on my own because that's what I do, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I learned to relax more and pray more and just find something that is calming to myself and something that just brings me back to realize that, hey, you need to slow down, or hey, you need to relax, or hey, your anxiety is kicking in. Because um, once the anxiety kick in, I ain't doing nothing. Especially if I'm driving. If I'm driving and anxiety kick in, I'm pulling over and I'm taking a breather. I don't care where I'm at. If I'm at work, I'm going to the back room. If I'm in my room, I'm locking myself up. It's just, that's just how I cope, and we all have different ways to coping to different things. However, it all starts with just relaxing. And, I, I, and that's just the honest truth. So relax more. I think the last glow up tip I have for right now will probably just to be as happy as you can be. Um, yeah, we go through things and yeah, we have bills and yeah, we lose friends and family members and yeah, we lose jobs and fail tests, have breakups and lose animals. And it's just so many things that we, we have thrown at us and it's just like, whoo. How am I supposed to be happy when all this crazy stuff is going on? How? I, I, I just personally don't understand how I'm supposed to be happy when I lost my friend, when I lost 
my car, when I lost my house, I didn't pass that test, I didn't get that job, I, I didn't book that gig, I'm not that actor in this movie, I don't have this person in my life anymore, like how am I supposed to be happy when nothing is going right? Um, you have to be. You honestly have to be in it's a process. It's a process that no one really likes to talk about. It's a process that um, we don't all know the answer to, but it has to be done. It has to be done, and once it's completed, you'll almost know right then at that moment, like, okay, I understand why this happened. I understand I can calm down now. I can, you know, relax and almost look back and be super, super grateful. So be happy as you can be right now. Be as grateful as you can be right now. Be as loving as you can be right now because you won't always be that person. And you won't always receive it. You really will not always receive it. And when you do feel it, you will know that, oh, okay, well, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is how I'm supposed to feel. This is what's right. Regardless to what's right happening to you, or what's wrong happening to you or what you're going through, you have to still go out there and be a soldier and realize that, hey, God has a way and it may not be at the time that you want it to be and things may not be going how you want them to go, but they it will work out. It'll definitely work out and you have to be as happy as you can be at that moment because going to that dark place is not the answer. I know that for sure. I know it for sure. I know for sure and it's not cool. It's, it's, it's just gonna make you feel worse and then worse things will happen. So I'm gonna end this video with glowing up and being happy. That is all a part of the process. Again, and it's not just about looks. And I'm gonna come back to y'all again with a whole nother video because I like this. This is intimate, this is therapeutic. I'm releasing some stuff. I'm giving y'all the keys to life. And I ain't DJ Khaled. That was kind of corny, but whatever. Um, if this was your first time to my channel, I really hope you guys appreciate it. And if you're returning to my channel, you better come back because I love y'all so much. Thank you. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Um, if you also haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell button so that way when the video is posted, you get a notification. And as always, until next time, I'm out.